Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on compound growth and decay. This is the second video on this topic. In the first video we went through the basic concept of simple and compound interest uh, and we went through the formula as well. So we're now going to put that formula into practice. Uh, but let's re-familiarize ourselves by re rewriting the formula. So it's n, the amount after a given time period, is n naught, the original amount, times 1, plus or minus, depending on whether it's growth or decay, the percentage, divided by 100, uh, to the power of n, where n is the number of time periods. That's a lowercase n this time. So in this example, a bank account containing £100 gets 3% compound interest each year. How much would be in the account after four years? So in this example, £100 is our value of n naught. 3% we'll put into the uh, brackets, and our value of lowercase n, the time period, is four years. So let's just rewrite the formula with our values. So n equals n naught, which is 100 times 1. And then because it is growth, it's interest, it's plus. And then the percentage is 3% divided by 100 to the power of n, which is 4 years. So 4. Now we can rewrite this a bit more simplified. So 100 times 1 plus 3 divided by 100. Well, 3 divided by 100 is 0 0.03. So 1.03 uh, to the power of 4. So let's put that into the calculator. So 100 times 1.03 to the power 4. So that gives us a value of 112 pounds 55 pence. So after four years, 112 pounds 55 pence will be in the bank account. So moving on then, let's have a look at compound decay or depreciation as it's sometimes called. So in this example, a car is bought for £15,000 and depreciates at 5% per year. Calculate the value of the car after five years. So again, let's just write the formula. N equals N naught times 1. And in this case, it's decay, so we'll just write minus. And then it's the percentage divided by 100 times uh, to the power of the number of time periods N. So in this case, N naught is uh, £15,000. A percent is 5% per year. And N, small, uh, lowercase n, the time period is five years. So let's just substitute all of that into the equation. So the value after five years is 15,000 times one minus five divided by 100 to the power of five. So let's just put all that into the calculator as it is. So uh, we'll just clear that. So 15,000 times one minus five divided by 100 close the brackets, all to the power of 5, that gives us £11,606.71. So £11,606.71, and that's the value after 5 years. Now compound growth and decay is a skill that takes some practice, especially using the formula, so you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to practice with. Uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every question, which is really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and find out where you need to improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and take the test today. It'll take you straight there.